Hello and welcome to this video tutorial, which provides a detailed overview of how to set up and implement the channels overlay feature using the channels tool. Please note this tutorial should be viewed after watching the reference channel setup tutorial, which provides a detailed overview of the setup and implementation of reference channels and the channels tool menu options. The channels tool has been designed and developed to support the overlaying of channels, or in other words, sloping support and resistance, onto the charts on both the higher and lower time frames. This channel structure is a key component of the price action grid. Once identified, it can be locked into position to prevent it from being accidentally moved or deleted. Once the reference channels have been accurately identified for a given time frame, equidistant channels above and below them can be drawn and projected into the future to provide guidance as to potential high energy, high probability trade setups as price makes its way up and down. For our market of choice, the German DAX 30, the most influential reference channel time frames which best capture price are the 5 minute, the hourly and the daily. The user can overlay any combination of these equidistant bull and bear channels onto the chart depending on which ones they decide are active and most useful at any given time. Therefore they can be turned on or off accordingly as the user sees fit, avoiding the chart becoming cluttered and potentially confusing. The higher time frame equidistant bull and bear channels for the 5 minute, hourly and daily time frames are defined during the process of setting up and implementing the bull and bear reference channels. This is covered in a separate tutorial as mentioned previously. However, it is important to understand that the higher time frame equidistant channels do not have to be displayed on their respective time frames in order to overlay them onto the lower time frames. For this demonstration, the channels tool will be used to overlay the active section of the DAX 30 equidistant channels from the 5 minute and hourly time frames onto the 1 minute time frame. The channels tool can be selected for use by dragging it from the favorites tab in the navigator window and dropping it onto the chart. From the inputs tab, double click the parameter current time frame and select the overlay only higher time frame bull channels option from the drop down list and click OK. A message is displayed in the top left of the chart confirming the selection. To activate this option, the user must change to the required time frame, in this case the 5 minute, then change back. The active section of the 5 minute higher time frame bull channels has now been overlaid. The default settings for both the channel overlay count and channel overlay length parameters have been used such that the channel overlay count is displaying one channel above and below the active channel and the channel overlay length is 100%. These parameters can be modified according to user preference. For example, let's change the channel overlay count and select to overlay a single channel. From the inputs tab, double click the parameter channel overlay count and select the single channel option from the drop down list and click OK. To activate this option, the user must change to the 5 minute time frame, then change back. Now let's change the channel overlay length to 200%. From the inputs tab, double click the parameter channel overlay length and select the 200% option from the drop down list and click OK. Again, Change to the 5 minute time frame, then back to the 1 minute to activate this option. It is entirely up to the user which options they choose, depending on what they decide is the most helpful at any given time. For the purpose of this demonstration, let's change the channel overlay count back to the default setting. Now that we have overlaid the 5 minute higher time frame bull channels, let's repeat the process and overlay the 1 hour higher time frame bull channels. 
Since the option Overlay only higher time frame build channels has already been selected, this can be done by changing to the one hour time frame, then back to the one minute to activate it. The active section of the one hour higher time frame build channels has now been overlaid. The one hour higher time frame channels are displayed using thicker lines to distinguish them from the five minute higher time frame channels, such that the higher the time frame, the thicker the channel lines. Now let's use the channels tool to overlay the active section of the higher time frame bear channels for both the five minute and one hour time frames onto the one minute time frame. From the inputs tab, double click the parameter current time frame and select the overlay only higher time frame bear channels option from the drop down list and click OK. Again, a message is displayed in the top left of the chart confirming the selection. As before, to activate this option, the user must change to the five minute and one hour time frames, then back to the one minute. The active section of both the five minute and one hour higher time frame bear channels have now been overlaid. As has been demonstrated, in order to activate the options, that overlay the higher time frame channels onto the lower time frames, the user must change to the corresponding higher time frame, then back to the lower time frame. In addition, the user must repeat this process periodically to ensure that the overlay channels are kept in sync with price. This is due to a design flaw in MetaTrader 4, which causes sloping structure such as trend lines and channels that have been defined on the higher time frames to be incorrectly displayed on the lower time frames. Full details of the design flaw are covered in a separate tutorial. Now let's take a look at the options Overlay Active Bull Channels and Overlay Active Bear Channels. Since the DAX reference channels have been defined on the 5 minute, hourly and daily time frames, the Overlay Active Bull Channels and Overlay Active Bear Channels options are only applicable to these time frames. For the purpose of this demonstration, let's change to the 5 minute time frame. From the inputs tab, double click the parameter current time frame and first select overlay active bull channels from the drop down list and click OK. The active section of the bull channels has now been overlaid. Since the reference channels were defined on this time frame, there is no need to change time frames to activate them, as the MT4 design flaw mentioned earlier is not applicable in this case. The active bull channels can be deleted by selecting Delete Active Bull Channels from the drop down list. Now let's select the Overlay Active Bear Channels option. The active section of the bear channels has now been overlaid. Again, they can be deleted by selecting Delete Active Bear Channels from the drop down list. Now let's change to the one hour time frame and repeat the process. Only this time, select to overlay the active bull and bear channels at the same time. So, first of all, select the Overlay Active Bull Channels option from the drop down list. Then select the Overlay Active Bear Channels option. Now both the active bull and bear channels have been overlaid. If required, all overlay channels on all time frames can be deleted by double clicking the parameter All Time Frames and selecting Delete All Overlaid Bull and Bear Channels. On clicking OK, a message is displayed asking the user to confirm the delete operation. So in summary, the Channels tool can be used to overlay channel structure to provide guidance as to potential high energy, high probability trade setups as price makes its way up and down. The user can choose to overlay the channel structure in whichever way they decide is most useful at any given time, depending on price action and market conditions. 
Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.